So now that the helmet is a thing that you can use to swap abilities out with Warframes, I have two new ways of playing Avara that I think are really, really strong. Let's have a look. Here we are in the Simulacrum with Ivara Prime. So, I'm gonna summon some level 150 Corrupted Heavy Gunners. I think. Nope, level 100 Corrupted Heavy Gunners. Let's just keep it simple. And of course we can put them to sleep, which is great. And of course we're going to use the starting energy being really, really high to basically kill them really, really quickly. Now, what we're actually going to do is I've actually done something a little bit different. So, we press 2 to jump out of our Artemis bow and then use it again. The Artemis bow is now affected by Empower, which is the ability that we have attached to Ivara as opposed to her Navigator. Her Navigator was not particularly good. And then alternatively as well, we can use Empower, go to the Dash Wire, and now we have 165% extra, uh, what is it, crit damage? Keep in mind that you can't use Empower while you're on the dash wire, so that's why we had to jump off. And that other dash wire here was not affected by Empower, so it would actually do, like Empower said, get on it, only 115% crit damage. So that would make a pretty big difference. To if we actually jump onto the OG one on this build, we can still one shot them, but we would be doing less damage as a number. So let's have a look at the build that we are using with Empower. Here is the build that we are using with Empowered. So, really, the main thing is actually having lower power strength because we are able to use Empower to give us 50% additional power strength. So, that is, of course, going to be really, really helpful. You basically time that by using Empower and then using your next ability, for example, your Quiver. That, of course, will then affect the dash wire power if you're going to use it like that. Or, alternatively, you could use it alongside your Artemis Bow, and that will basically increase the amount of damage that your Artemis Bow does right up until you unequip your Artemis Bow. So there's no need to use a power with every shot. That is the idea. Otherwise, we're going to be using Prime Flow Preparation so that we're always having a lot of energy as well as having a lot of duration and efficiency so that you can always stay in Prowl for as long as you want and the Prowl drain is hilariously small at 0.35 energy a second so that is really, really good. Also, the increased rage will mean that things like your Sleep Arrow will be a lot more powerful as well because definitely being able to hit a lot of enemies with your sleep arrow is a really, really good thing. Alternatively, an extra thing is also having a larger rage on your bubble from your cloak arrow is always a really good choice as well. So that's pretty much the idea with the empowered quiver. As you can see in the background footage, we're basically staying invisible the entire time, which is really, really good. We're also killing enemies pretty well, at least in steel path, so that's really, really good as well. Using the Artemis Bow with a 100 munitions and viral build seems to be the way against the Grenier. In terms of the build that I'm doing with the Artemis Bow, it's basically the same as I have always been. Just a standard crit plus, actually just crit build with viral and 100 munitions. That is the way against the Grenier. And then against Corpus is basically a crit and slight status hybrid, I guess, against the Corpus by having toxic damage instead of viral damage. That's the idea, but as you can see, it is really, really powerful. Now, if you were looking at the build, you may have noticed that there was another tab at the top, something called the Infinite Squared Arrow. Let's have a look at that. Here we are again in the Simulacrum with Ivara. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon the same level 100 Corrupted Heavy Gutters again, but this time I'm going to activate Dispensary first. I'm going to just fire against these guys for a sec. I'm going to activate that now. I am not entirely sure there is a counter on the top right hand corner that I don't actually recognize right now. I'm going to have to 76%. I don't even know what that is. Is this a. Uh... I don't recognize it. I believe that's almost everyone. Nope, there we go. These guys left. There we go. Awesome. So. This one, of course, is going to be a dispensary build. Let's have a look at it. 
a different kind of build to the empowered builds. Obviously, because we're not using empower, the power strength is going to have to go up. And in fact, the power strength is even higher on this one. We're still keeping the same amount of range, but the duration and the efficiency is lower, which means that Prowl is going to take a lot more energy. And more importantly, your shots from your Artemis bow are going to consume a lot more energy. The main area of consumption is really going to be from your Artemis bow if you're using it a whole lot. So just be wary of that. Of course, the power of the dispensary remains hilariously strong and frankly I'm still surprised that DE actually went with dispensary of all things to actually give any Warframe because it basically means that high strength power builds are pretty much on the table all day every day. Of course this build is a little bit more difficult to achieve because you have to actually sacrifice a Protea so good luck getting that. Now in terms of the abilities it's really the Prowl and the Arbus Bow ability that are going to be benefiting the most. Of course, the extra rage again from this build will give some really, really good bonuses to the Cloak Arrow as well as the Sleep Arrow as well, and the Noise Arrow as well, especially if you're remaining really, really invisible. Otherwise, just be wary of your energy consumption. Like I said, this build is a little bit more difficult to achieve because you do need to sacrifice a Protea. So that particular farm did take me a very, very long time to complete. But if you're able to sacrifice a Protea and thus have dispensary on basically everyone, then this build, I think, is probably going to be the overall more powerful build. Just keep in mind that the energy usage is going to be a lot higher than the Empowered Arrow build. So just figure out which one you want. Now, in the comments of the Perfect Mag video, there was a very interesting comment to do with the use of Equilibrium. Now, that's why I'm using Equilibrium, because we're actually using it on top of a mod called Synth Fiber, which is, of course, a companion mod. That's why I'm running around with a dog. That's why, as Mag, I'm now running around with a mower, because that mod actually allows me to collect health orbs at any given point in time. And it turns out, and I didn't even realize this, uh, despite the fact I've been playing Protea for a very, very long time, that the health orbs from Protea's dispensary are actually quote-unquote mega health orbs. They actually give 100 health, which is why Equilibrium is capable of giving me 110 energy every single time it collects a health orb, which means that if you run something like Synth Fiber, it actually forcibly collects those health orbs, making the dispensary even more hilariously overpowered than it already is. To that end, I am actually 100% on board with the quote-unquote duration nerf that was given to the dispensary because the dispensary is already hilariously overpowered as is, despite the fact that the nerfs still happen. But I don't think D should nerf it any further. I think that is probably a bad idea. D should now, of course, move on to actually buffing some of the other abilities and figuring out what they want to do with that. But that's a totally different rant for another time. As you can see, the infinite squared arrow is just really, really powerful at killing everything and doing everything in the game. The only thing is that you can't use your dispensary, much as that you can't use your empower on your dash wire. So what you can do is a little bunny hop, then then drop the dispensary and then jump back onto your dash wire if you want to do that. Of course, when you're using the infinite arrow build, you're not really using the dash wire for that extra damage. So you can also just stay on the ground if you want. Just keep in mind that you do run a lot faster while you're in your crowd if you happen to be on a dash wire instead of laying on the ground. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Which of these builds do you think you would use? Do you have any way of making these builds even better? Let me know in the comments. Potentially, one thing I would change is the aura, because right now both of them are just using growing power. Apparently, if you use empower, that actually cancels out growing power. That's what I've heard. Can't really say if that is the case as of right now. I don't really pay attention at this particular point in time. Using a different aura at the same time, though, probably makes a lot of sense anyway, so that's entirely up to you. Otherwise, Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.